already frozen. It's Old Mom Saturday Night. It is my Old Mom Saturday Night. And some reading glasses. Reading glasses. Welcome to the drawer. This is the drawer where everything goes that doesn't have a place. Like here's some notes from people. Contact lenses. Mask. You know you never can find a mask when you need one these days. What else? Chapstick. Chapstick from 1982. Anti-aging under iPads. I think I bought these for myself and put them in my stocking. And never used them. Clinique. My favorite brand, which my daughter says is terrible. Oh, this was, I was so excited about this. I've given this twice to people for Christmas. It's a clothesline. You just hang it up wherever you are, and voila, you have a clothesline. The problem is you have to remember to take it places. Oh, look. Here's a talk I did somewhere. Uh-huh. Talk. <gasps> the Ohio State. If anybody, my husband and I just watched the Ohio State game. Too many of these drawers. I know I do too. Yep, that's my parents. Sleep mask. Some, a key. I love a random key. Adrian, are you up late? Um, well, Thomas and I were watching the game. Oh, a calculator. some win. I know, right? So good, especially since I didn't watch the whole game. Oh, this is lip stuff too. Oh, I did. I made this for my cruise. So sad. Notre Dame should have won. <laughs> no, that was the highest thing. Oh, look, look, look. This is a whitening tray. Oh, God, Herc. It's terrible. Oh, covered in lotion. I was coming in here to get my darn reading glasses, and I, this is why I can't see. Oh, here's the, this is, is this one too? Oh, this is another one. Hmm. What? Maybe this isn't mine. This doesn't, <laughs> this doesn't actually fit my teeth. UVA didn't play well there and neither did NC State. <laughs> now there's like, this must be a retainer. Just want some reading glasses. What is this? <gasps> Ooh, to all you young people, this is what's called a thumb drive. Mm -hmm. You didn't even know these existed anymore. And when you find this thumb drive, it's like finding a mixtape. You just never know. Could be. Some free lipstick. Free lipstick is usually free because of the color. Ooh. It's a real frosty. You are a mess. <laughs> well, now I'm having such a good time in here. Look! Another key. <gasps> Ooh, this is to my parents' house. Well, darn, I need that. I mean, you... Someday, when I'm old, I'm going to just sit around and clean out drawers. I'm on my way there. What's that? Oh, this is wart stuff. I've been looking for that. Not for me, but for my children, you know, who are warty. Look at this. These are names. These cards have my name on them. Adrian Lee. Um, I'm putting up my subscriber link. So tomorrow we have a subscriber video at 3.30. 
and then tomorrow night at 7.30. It's very exciting. Kate Swenson and Carrie Cariello right here on this page. And then after that tomorrow night, we have... Oh, what is this black stuff? After that tomorrow night, we have subscriber Old Mom Sunday Night. Oh, I literally can't see a thing. What is this black stuff in this tiny little Bobby Brown case? Oh, ooh, I should get this for my daughter. You know what this is? This is a TENS unit. You put this sucker on, let's try it, and then it shocks you. I can't feel it. I do feel it. Can I put, let my daughter use that? Children are warty. Glad you are up. You're not old. Mm. I'm old enough. Here it goes. Oh, maybe they're in here. So these are kind of like readers, but these are these are what you wear when you have been to the eye doctor. No, these evidently are part of some ski goggles that somebody just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna put those in mom's bathroom drawer because who gives a schmuckety schmuck about her? Actually, you know what happened? I probably put them in there myself when I was unpacking a suitcase or something. There's a lid. the person who invented the TENS unit. Well, I haven't known where the thing was in like a year. These are sunglasses. These are not, these are not reading glasses, but they're real good sunglasses from the posh, posh pelican. Oh, you lost your Yorkie. I'm sorry, that's terrible. I have a Furminator in my bathroom, speaking of Yorkies. And my son bought this, I think he thought this was like old fashioned shaving cream, but it's not. It's called Bulldog. And I don't know if it's dog soap or what? Hmm. Now this right here, this is what you buy when you've really hit a low. You know what this is? This is called easy hair. And this is not for yourself to use. This is keeping your dolls looking gorgeous. This is what happened one day when I started pulling out all the Madame Alexander dolls and I couldn't brush their hair. So I ordered this. And I ordered a doll hairbrush. And no, I'm not drinking before anybody asks. I haven't had a Vicodin, no alcohol, nothing. And you know what I did with this when I bought it? I just put it right here in the bathroom. Just so if I ever fall down in here and can't get up, nobody's here for me, I can fix some doll's hair. And then I can put on my bought this this summer. I mean, how could you not buy this? It has a butterfly hanging from it for men's hair. This is not for men. This is for women. 12th anniversary of my son's death. He was 22 and died in a car accident. Oh, I'm sorry, Terry. Those dates never... I, sw I think the, the date of the anniversary of somebody's death is probably the hardest day. 
you know? I don't know why. It does get easier, but it is a, that's a hard day. My parents and I, you know, Lisa and my brother, we always try to like come up with something to do together, or go to dinner, but it feels like a weird day. To you don't really want to celebrate it, but you it's heavy on your mind. So you're thinking about it. Anyway, sorry. Maybe I can make you smile a little bit. I just found the last bottle of tanning oil on the planet. It's, don't worry, it's 15. Now this is not mine. You know what this is? This is probably a bottle of hairspray that my mother bought me before I got married. My mom really believes in hairspray. She loves you do your hair and she just wants to do a little, let me just listen to this noise. Just cause it sounds like her. This reminds me of my mother. She would shake. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. I froze. So I was shaking. My mother would shake and then she would do a little. Just killing the ozone one step at a time. She did not, she didn't know back then. Well, here are all my glasses cases. I'm not one to wear in glasses. Let's see. Oh, nope. Oopie, oopie, oopie. Oh, I think I might have found some. That was Open Door Church. I didn't, I haven't been to Open Door Church tomorrow's Sunday. Amos really wants to go to Amos. Ooh, I just found reading glasses. Amos loves a church called Open Door. And our family goes to the Episcopal Church. So tomorrow, Amos is going to the Episcopal Church with his mother. <laughs> because, um, why are you showing us all these things? Oh, Michelle. Just because you're here. It's called fun, Michelle. Fun. Funny. Fun. 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 You still wear hairspray? Listen to this. This is rare. We live on the sound and you never hear any waves. But you do tonight. There are four white things in the yard. What are they? I hope they're not dead fish. Oh, God. Are they dead fish? No. Let me turn on the light. Let's look. Nope. You see them? Oh, no. You see them? I bet you can't see them. Hold on. I'll try to let you see them. They're just little white spots right there. You know, I've got to be governor just so I can get us some better internet around here. They weren't four dead fish. They were two kayak paddles with the beginning and the end. Like, I thought they were maybe dead fish that had walked in. I mean, rolled in in the, I do like that water sound too. I like it too. Um, um, so anyway, that's it. Hurricane o o Ophelia is over. It is not pouring rain. It's sprinkling. And we're going to go out and go to church breakfast. Did you collect your float? Mm -mm. No, we have a float that's anchored down out there and all day long it um it flipped it would flip and then it would not flip and then it would flip and then it would not flip. I don't know when the wind's gonna quit it's good sleeping weather though um so tomorrow subscribers see you at three o'clock for weekend Q&A 
And then at, what else do we have? Oh, oh, 7.30 tomorrow night. Kate Swenson, Carrie Cariello right here. I don't know what our topic will be. And then at 9 o'clock, Old Mom Sunday Night subscriber only. Does your yard ever flood during a storm? It has not yet. And let's hope it doesn't. Because that would entail my husband and I um, lifting furniture up. Is your husband out of town again? No. He's downstairs watching the Carolina Pitt game. We just finished watching the Ohio State game go Buckeyes because they won. My family is from Ohio, so we cheer for Ohio State. Did you ever get your kayak? No. My kayak washed away in the last hurricane, and we saw it. It went to the other side. I should have had my name written on it, Sharpie, but I didn't. Sleep with your windows open. I know, Mary. That's what I'm doing. Isn't it so nice sounding? Okay, see you at breakfast. Nine o'clock. Church.